difference. And maybe you'll see if this could be something to help you and your program. It's a two-man game on one side of the floor and three players spaced out to help uh, prevent the defense from helping on the ball screen. The way we get into it right here is we dribble to the wing and it forms our two-man game. So one and five are going to play two-man game, ball screen, can reject it, can use it. And if one uses it, five rolls or pops. In this situation, they're going to roll. And then on the pass to four, it gets us into our continuity of the offense. Four is going to look for shot. Five is going to look high-low. If none of that is available, three cuts back door. And we lift. And now we're going to form the continuity on this side of the floor. Four and two are going to play two-man game. Five is going to space to the slot, form our spacing alignment for the European ball screen. Two and four play. Four is in a roll, five hits. And if we don't have anything again, we would just turn it over. One would cut back door, three would lift. Let's take a look at how this looks in a game. Okay, we got Duke. Here Blank with the ball, and they're in a 1-4 high set to begin with, and they cut Play back forward. And it forms oh, a two-man game. You got a ball screen. You got your ball screen. You got your spacing here. It's going to look high-low if he has no shot. If it doesn't Coming work, we got the back door option. And now we're going to flow into another side ball screen for the continuity. You know, he, in this situation, we're like popping it. Choice, though, his mom, Cynthia, went to Virginia, so now he, he couldn't come to Virginia. Isos him and takes it to the basket. No way. Oh, pretty blue. So that is the basics of the European ball screen offense. Hope you enjoyed that today.